You were excited about this one? Yes. It's already got my favorite snack in it. What? Oh, really? Yes. What was that? You got to wait and find out. Okay. We're going to open up the July edition of the Keto Box. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also, make sure you're hitting that bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. We got the July edition of the Keto Box. Look at the, the background set is coming together. Would you believe that that wall is actually gray? It is a dark gray, but you wouldn't know it because we're shining lights on. Doesn't that look yeah. cool? Yeah. That looks really cool. So I'm excited about this. This is the Keto Box. This is Anthony. This is our middle son. Anthony is a foodie and he is brutally honest. And so every month, if you haven't seen these videos, maybe you're new to us, we open up the keto box and he's gonna try everything in here and let you know whether or not you should eat it. So if he says you should eat it, you should eat it because that's a non-keto person liking it. If he says you shouldn't eat it, it's about a 50-50 chance. Now, if you don't know what a keto box is, this is a monthly subscription box. It's got lots of different goodies in here. It's a great way to try things without buying an entire case of them. There is a link down below if you're interested. And there's also a coupon code to get some money off of your very first box. Are you ready? Yes. What do you oh. You know you don't get the box. That's right. Anthony gets right to choose the box. All right, we're going to start because this is going to be my snack for when I don't like half the other stuff in here. Okay. All right, brown rice. It's got <laughs> hearts of palm in it. That's what it is. Um, so we've already made it because it had to come. That's what it looks like. Okay. So the ingredients are hearts of palm. That's it. We'll take that. Except, I mean, I'll, okay, I'll go into it. So one serving is two and a half. It, this, so this whole box, it comes in a little bag. I threw the bag out. Okay. But it has two and a half servings per container. Uh, and per serving, it is 25 calories. Uh, and a, a serving size is about half a cup. Uh, so it's 25 calories. It's got four grams of total carb, two grams of fiber, so that just makes it two net carbs. Okay. And so the instructions are you put it in a bowl, you put it, you take it out from the bag, put it in a pot, um, and then you add two tablespoons of butter or, I mean, unsalted butter. I just did butter. And then you season and warm it for an additional two, two minutes on medium heat. I added salt, pepper, uh, garlic, onion powder, and uh, smoked paprika. Okay, what if we eat the whole bowl? If What's you eat the whole whole because I saw that on there. If you eat the whole thing, it's seventy calories. I'll take that. Uh, it is gonna be if you're uh, hold on, eleven grams of carbs and five grams of fiber. So, so it would six, be six net total carbs, carbs. Six net carbs. If you eat the whole thing, okay. So I've added. This is actually looking pretty good. Because I made it. No, fine. That was good. Um. And everything falls out of my it's mouth. Because I, it's because I made it. That is really, really good. Okay. We're going to be ordering some of that stuff. Uh, price on that is... Five bucks. Five. $5. You actually get, I think it was like um, nine of them in a box. So I thought it was pretty good. Five dollars a box for that. That is definitely good. I'm going to be eating this this whole time. Okay. Get used to it. <laughs> Um, what's up? I'll go with the other thing that we had to make beforehand. I'll give you this because I know you like it. Sweet Logic Apple Cinnamon Mug Cake. We've had Sweet Logic things before. They actually used to be under a different name. Ready in minutes. It's a mug cake. So the ingredients in this are almond flour, allulose, dried apples. Okay. Coconut flour, cinnamon, leavening, which is sodium acid uh, pyrophosphate and sodium bicarbonate. Then we have cornstarch and monocalcium phosphate. Okay, oh, that's all the leavening agents. Yep. Then we have salt stevia leaf extract. So 
If you eat the, this as prepared, which is what? You're gonna crack a one egg and, butter and, an and egg. a butter, right? So if you eat it as prepared, because who's gonna eat it dry? 310 calories, 26 grams of fat, uh, 10 grams of protein, 26 total carbs. That is a lot of total carbs. Uh, four grams of dietary fiber, and then I know it does have 17 grams of allulose, making it five net carbs. Now, if you don't know what allulose is, it's an alternative sweetener. Uh, it is natural. Uh, the government actually considered it as a sugar. What's cool about it is it actually can help to lower your glucose. So now they're saying there's four grams of sugar per bag. I don't know where all the sugar is coming from other than, I guess, maybe like the apples. Yeah. But, okay. I didn't, I didn't drop that. It smells delicious. Dang, that's pretty good. Wow. Okay. Anybody who's been watching our channel for a while knows I love Allie, who is the owner of the company. Um, but I always felt like they weren't sweet enough, even though there was so much allulose. It's like just right. This one is perfect. This is the best sweet creations that I've tasted yet. Like I would actually buy this one. That's got it's got a perfect apple flavor. The cinnamon is like, I think, point on. What do you think? It's really good, actually. Uh, price on these, you have to buy them in a package of like five of them. But it works out to be uh, $3.60 per each mug cake. That is really good. I'm impressed by that one. What do we got? Let's see. Um, I want to do this one. I think we smushed it a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Pork clouds. We've had these before, but it's been it's been a hot minute. So it's rosemary and sea salt flavored. Okay. Uh, the ingredient: pork skin, olive oil, salt, rosemary, and sea salt. Uh, serving size is this one package. Uh, Hundred calories. There's six grams of fat, zero to carbs, zero fiber, zero sugar. Okay. Are these are these air fried? Are they how are they fried? I mean, I heard you say I'm almond fluffy cloud. Um. Fried, no, it just says fried pork rind, yeah. so, okay. The pork rinds, I mean. There's not much, yeah. They're good. I feel like they could use a little more flavor. Yeah, I mean, the rosemary is definitely coming through, but they're good. Very good. You can get them all over the place. On Amazon, you buy a big box and it comes out to be $2 a package. All right. Huh. The cookie department. This I think we always have a problem. Yeah, this is the mint condition flavor, double chocolate chip plus mint keto improved, improved texture. texture. Okay, well, well, we'll judge that. The ingredients. Blanched almond flour, monk fruit sweetener, which is erythritol monk fruit extract. Then we have grass-fed butter, tapioca powder, which is soluble prebiotic fiber, whole eggs, dark chocolate chips, which is unsweetened chocolate and erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, sunflower lecithin. We have cocoa powder and then contains less than 3.1% of vegetable glycerin, natural flavoring, salt, xanthan gum, baking soda, rosemary extract. The ingredients in these have always been really good. I always just felt they kind of lacked a little bit of flavor. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so 240 calories for the entire cookie, 21 grams of fat, six grams of protein, 22 grams of total carbs, seven grams of dietary fiber, 12 grams of sugar alcohol. That makes it what? Uh, is that three net carbs? Yep, three net carbs. So we basically got a fake Thin Mint. That's what we've got here. We got a fake Thin Mint, but with more ingredients than an actual Thin Mint. That's what we've got here. I don't know, there's a lot of ingredients in a Thin Mint. Give that piece to me, okay. The texture is definitely better than the last ones that we've had. Where's the mint? Oh, there it is. The, the mint's there. It's it's kind of like a back note. It's I think it's the best cookie department I've tasted. Honestly, yeah. Or the mint is just the cooling effect with the amount of erythritol that they've used. No, the mint's mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's meh. It's the best one I've had. I will say that. Best one I've had. Um, $3.25 a cookie if you're buying them on Amazon. Next up. Mm. 
Yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. I yeah, I saw this. We like, do oh, yeah. keto. Keto everything crackers. Okay. All right. Um. So the erythritol starting to hit me on this. Yeah. No, yeah. you see it now. <laughs> um. So five servings in this bag. They're. Oh, oh my gosh. A serving size is 0.6 ounces. Who is measuring that? Like one chip. Why couldn't you say like five crackers or something? Well, I don't like, I want you to give me like a number, but 0.6, can't we just say a serving size is an one ounce? Ounce, yeah, and just lower it by a serving. Uh, calories, there's 80 calories per mm -hmm. serving. Uh, seven grams of fat, three grams of total carb, two grams of fiber, less than one gram of sugar. So that makes it one total, one net carb. And there's five servings in the package. There's five servings in the package. I'm gonna say three. Huh. Kinda looks like communion wafers. Did we read the ingredients? Lie. Yeah, we did, right? Yeah. Oh, I did not read you the ingredients. You did not. Okay, thank you. I, I thought like, how did he get through that so quickly? I'll save my review for after. Almond flour, flax seed, white sesame seeds, garlic on garlic, onion, pink salt, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and rosemary. Mo rosemary. There is no flavor to these. There is absolutely You're crazy. This is supposed to be everything but the bagel seasoning type on a cracker. I'm tasting it. I'm tasting it all. I'm tasting it all. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get another judge on your taste buds here, mommy. Please come in here if you're out there still. Oh, she went in her room. She's gone. We're gonna get another opinion on this. I think that they're good. They've got no flavor. I think they have a lot of flavor. They say like a soggy cracker. <laughs> That's not how I do stuff. Okay, uh, price on those, uh, he's not gonna react to this well. $8 a bag. $8? <laughs> Eight dollars. I can get. I can get four of these. Those are better though. These are better. No, the crackers are better. Of course, I don't think they're as good as our crackers. Something but wrong with you. I don't okay. know what this is. You opened it. I know. I don't know why. I just started ripping it open. I think we need water for this. It's a collagen. Does it's it a taste dry. Like anything? It, it says unflavored protein. Being completely honest. Let I me go get a drink. Don't even want to try it. Okay. What happened? We're in a disagreement. Okay. I want you to tell me what this. I'm not even gonna. This is gonna be a fair, fair judgment. All right. What does this taste like? Is there enough flavor? Anything on it? Just. That's terrible. Thank you. It's supposed to be everything crackers. She doesn't think it's good. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what a seasoning is. It's not soft and it's not crunchy. It's a soggy cracker it's with soggy. not enough seasoning. Daddy, did it's, you really think that? It's definitely soggy, but I no think, flavor. I think it tastes good. You would be wrong. It's, it's <laughs> eight dollars a bag though, so I would not buy it. Okay, here you go. With this milk that we just recently reviewed. Uh, well, it's this or almond milk. Uh, I hate that stuff. It sucks. <gasps> it tastes like garbage. It this tastes really good. You're just really you're a sugar nice. person. Because I like normal milk. Okay, but I did find out they have a whole milk. Will you, are you willing to try the you whole milk? You didn't even give me whole milk? No, it's fat free or why would you get a fat free milk when you're on keto? Weirdo. Because that's all they had. Okay. Just don't get it. And like literally any option is it's better. It's not fat free. Any it's, option is better than the reduced fat. It's one. reduced fat. So uh, so you're already not getting it. Blame him on the terrible review that's about to come from this thing. <laughs> well, what other milk do you want me to use? Are you gonna drink almond, almond milk? milk? No. This tastes better than almond it milk. It really doesn't though. Yeah, no, it's terrible. I don't even need to drink it. Oh, that's horrible. I just wasted that milk. Oh, you you you, you, you wanna know something? What? It, hold, hold, hold on, because it's flavorless. So I, that I, means your milk just sucks. <laughs> That's what that means. This is flavorless. I know. Unflavored. But it's affecting the texture. Bull crap. That you milk can't just... say that on YouTube. Yes, I can. 
It sucks. It is unfl- I can- Why would I spend- It tastes like nothing. Which I means your milk is atrocious. Your why Fix your milk. Why would I spend no, the milk tastes fine. Why would I spend twenty-six dollars a pound for something that's completely unflavored and doesn't affect the taste at all? It's twenty-six dollars for, for a, a pound? pound? Whatever. It's stupid. Get out of here with that. Alright, this looks fun. Good to go. We've had strawberry mac well, I haven't had this. Okay. Strawberry macadamia nuts. Strawberry macadamia nut flavor. Whoa, it's a lot. Okay, ingredients. Almond flour, inulin, erythritol, macadamia nuts, vegetable glycerin. I'm a little worried that strawberry isn't up there, but all right. Apple cider vinegar, <laughs> ground chia seed, freeze-dried strawberry pieces. I'm a little concerned how that's down on the bottom of the list. Natural flavor, sea salt, baking soda, rosemary extract, mixed tofurols to preserve freshness. Contains almonds and macadamia nuts. Look, they did your favorite thing now. They put the asterisks and every and the asterisks means everything's organic. But not everything is organic. The almond flour isn't organic. It is. No, oh, it's okay, not. it's not. I'm no, sorry. It's not. They but they didn't list it the way you hate it, where yes. it's like organic, organic, Should organic. Should have just said yeah. They so they did good. the ingredients in this are always really good. All right. Serving size is the bar, 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, uh, 16 total carbs, mm -hmm. seven grams of fiber, two grams of total sugar. So there is seven. There's where, a worth of tall. Is there where? How five, much though? Oh, five. Five. So that makes 16 or, yeah. 16 minus seven is nine minus five is four. So there's four net cards in here. Okay, so I've had these before. And oh, I wow. think the ingredients are really sizes. good. The texture is really cool. They just, they lack flavor. It tastes really sour. It tastes like strawberry. No. No. This actually is the That's best one I've had. That's not a strawberry. This is the best one I've had. It's very sour. This is the this has the most flavor I've had of them. Nope. Usually they lack flavor. Well, now good flavor. That's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> no, it tastes good. It tastes really sour. Oh, let's see how much money they're charging for this thing. Um uh, price on those are dollar eighty one a bar, and you can get them in a lot of gas stations. Like our Wawa sells them. Well, that's not bad. All right, here you go. Do we have to really try pistachios? I don't think we do. We're fine. Pistachios. They're pistachios. pistachios. I think we know what a pistachio tastes. Dollar sixty seven, and the ingredients for pistachios. Now, pistachios. I do want to say before we move on, let's go over this. This is one hundred and thirty calories. It's ten grams of fat. It is uh, five grams of protein, six total carbs, two grams of dietary fiber. So it's four net carbs. Pistachios do have more sugar in them than a lot of nuts. So they're not super keto friendly unless you eat them like this. See, when you get them already shelled, you're going to eat 10 times more. But if you get them like this, at least you have to go through the effort of opening them up. Go ahead. All right. Huevos. I feel like I got gypped on one here. Made from egg. Oh, yeah, you are supposed to go. Well, so I have to go twice at some point. Because I get the beef jerky last. Okay. So I'll do this one. You have at least a good one for the next one. I'll make it up. Okay. Cuevos, made from egg whites. Cheddar flavor. Ingredients. Egg whites, clarified butter, milk protein isolate, chicory root fiber, seasoning blend, which is modified tapioca starch, tapioca solids, salt, natural flavor, nutritional yeast, yeast extract, lactic acid, and coconut oil, avocado oil, tapioca flour, and contains less than 2% of the following. Chia seeds, psyllium, psyllium husk, psyllium husk. Psyllium husk, sunflower lecithin, and flax seeds. So, the serving size is this bag, 140 calories for the bag, 10 grams of fat, 8 grams of total carb, 4 grams of fiber, 1 gram of sugar, making this bag 4 net carbs. I'm interested to see the reaction on this one. I've never had this flavor. Y'all saw how big that bag was. No, 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 no. This ain't how. We, is this camera working? What's this? What? What is this? This that camera's working. Is this it's camera not, working? It's that this one. one? I want you guys to look at the sheer rip off. You gotta get let it look, focus. There look at go. this. Look at this. <laughs> There's about 15 chips in there. Look at this. You're peeking out my microphone. Oh well. <laughs> There's about 15 chips in here. They look like they're. Okay, off. so I I would agree. That's why I don't buy these. 
No, they are good. <laughs> no, they are good. These are really good. No, they are good. But, okay. They ripped us off like Blaze does to fill our tires with air, but these are good. Okay, but here, he's right. Here's the here's the bag. Are you ready? Here. No, here. No, um, I got this. We had two it. chips. We had two. <laughs> that's it's, all they give us. That's kind of, and, 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 wait, are you ready? It's probably like Mom $9. likes these. Mom likes these too. So, uh, price on these are three dollars a bag mm, a little too much queens would you get what oh uh, it is pretty good it's good though they don't give you enough all right here i told you i'd make it up to you oh yes have you had this one yet no okay high key peanut butter flavor ingredients are peanut butter which is dry roasted peanuts a sweetener blend of erythritol stevia monk fruit and we have almond flour butter which is cream and milk, inulin, dried egg whites, natural flavors, salt, baking powder, uh, tapioca starch, and sodium bicarbonate. Uh, there is seven pieces in a serving, two servings in this bag. Uh, it is 130 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat, four grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber, eight grams of erythritol, making it two net carbs. And these are delicious. To be completely honest, I don't really like these. Wow. There's a lot of peanut butter. First ingredients, peanut butter. I, They're wow. good. They're pretty good. Those are good. Uh, price on those, $3.50 on Amazon. All right. Is that it? Well, the last thing. Okay. Is my... Uh, you got, you got your beef stick, stick back. You got your yes. meat stick back. Think jerky, grass-fed beef stick. I'm a little concerned. I think I've had this one. I didn't like it. Um, ingredients. Grass-fed beef, sea salt, encapsulated lactic acid, spices, cultured celery powder, granulated garlic, granulated onion, stuffed in a beef collagen casing. All right. Uh, nutrition facts. is It's an ounce. Serving size. It's this whole thing. 80 calories. 5 grams of fat. One total carb, zero fiber, zero sugar. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> okay, I do like this one. This one is good. I like the snap on this one. Yeah. Hold on. Where, where, where is it? Hold on. Shh. shh. It's a good snap. It's got a good snap. I like this one. It's good. This one is like a cross between a meat stick and a Slim Jim. Yeah. Right? Slim Jims like aren't like this moist, so it's like a, it's like a cross between Slim it. Slim Jims also aren't really meat either. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean. Okay. Uh, price on that is on Amazon. You buy a box of twenty of them. It comes out to be a, like a dollar ten per meat stick. So it's a good price. Oh, it's a good price. That's everything. Yeah. Wow. That was really quick. Yeah, we're getting good at this. It was 25 minutes. I mean... I don't yeah. think the clock's been running. I think we've been recording longer than that. Hey, I have a request for you from, like, all of our subscribers. What? They want you to do a video with your hair down. Good. No? No video with your hair down? It needs to be wet. Please. Your hair is so long, though. Like, you're... Maybe next time. Your mom's envious of that hair. Maybe next time. <laughs> That is going to be this video. Now, let us know down in the comment section if you have tried any of these products and if you have, which one did you like? I'm really curious if other people, where'd they go? What? If other people have tried those chips and if they did, did they like them? What do you do um, with them? Did you throw them? Has anybody else tried them and do you like them? I want to know. Yes, they're a little soggy. They're not like a super snap like those Quavos. They got a nice snap. I no but flavor. I think they have a good flavor. So I'm curious if anybody else thinks the same thing. Maybe I'm totally off because, again, taste is subjective. Now, if you like it's seeing... It's not. It's just there's good enough. <laughs> if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at Mo's recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. 
But whether you head that way or you head this way, make sure you head this way. Subscribe to our channel and also while you're there, make sure you're hitting that bell button so that you are notified every time Anthony joins us on another video. And until next time, bye. bye.